just in the spirit, man. I'm looking at what's going on behind us. This wedding, and I'm just thinking how Esau is uh, basically he don't have long left in this society in this age. Cause he's getting ready to go into slavery, so he's getting ready to unleash an arsenal on us, man. So brothers have to get ready. So we're gonna read Revelation 12 and 12. God, Revelation chapter 12. Verse 12 mm -hmm. says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. He said, Rejoice, ye heavens, and what? Ye that dwell in ye them. Dwell in them. We're dwelling right now in the tabernacle of the spirit, spirit. Right? Our minds are thinking on the things in heaven. God. Right? Uh -huh. So, those who is talking about are the angels and the elect, basically. So, give me yeah, Revelation 18 and uh, 22. Uh, this is Revelation 18 and 20. Rejoice over her uh, down heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh have avenged you on her. See, ye, ho ye apostles, ye prophets, right? So we are the ones rejoicing in the heavens and the angels also when you read in Psalms 148 and 2. Right? Yeah, I got that too. Uh, uh, we'll yeah, go ahead. Yeah, All right, right this, this, uh, this psalm. 148 verse 2. Mm -hmm. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. See, his angels and all his hosts. So he just, uh, go back to 12. Five. 12. Says, therefore rejoice ye heavens. The ones who rejoice in are the angels and the elect. Go ahead. And ye that dwell in them. Ye that dwell in him. We dwell in right now in the spirit in this tabernacle. Right? Our minds are basically on what? The heavenly things, man. God. It's not, it's not like yeah, the kingdom. It's not like these people you see walk around these everyday inhabitants who are basically their minds are dwelling on earthly things, man. Go ahead. God. It mm -hmm. says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. These are people with the earthly minds. Woe meaning what? Destruction. Destruction to them. Because they're not thinking on heavenly <laughs> things, man. They're not trying to come back to the law of the commandments and have faith and, and believe on Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. They're believing on in Satan and shit. They believe in, in themselves. So the Lord said, Woe to the inhabitants, man. Go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Mm -hmm. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Great wrath. What's that great wrath? He's going to come down on you. Martial law. Son. We just had a sign. Right? Son. This is, this is the great wrath that this Edomite is going to bring on you, man. Martial law. He's getting ready to bring this full fledged Con. Coming yeah. soon to a neighborhood near you. Con. Con. Concentration camps. The RFID chip. That's what's coming. You know? And that's what we are to do is speak on these properties, man. It's coming. They get ready to bring martial law and they get ready to put you in concentration camps. But the Lord going to make a way for who the elect to escape. Right. Go ahead. Right. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. He's back to work. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. The devil has come down unto you, man. This devil, man, this so-called white man, he, he breathes in destruction. Con. Con. Right? He's going to bring destruction on these men that's on this planet, man. That's why it's very important, hey, that you come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and read these scriptures. Because it said knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of the time. And have faith, man. Con. Con. Yes, reading this book will we'll, we'll enable you to escape. Bad times is coming. These perils is coming. Because so death is coming to this place, man. Death is coming in stages, man. It's coming in the form of famine. It's coming in the form of pestilence. It's coming in the form of martial law. It's coming in the form of uh, sedition. And ultimately, the ultimate death of America is going to be them thermonuclear destruction. Con. Con. Right? And this Edomite is going to have to drink that cup. Like me and the brothers going over earlier, man. Inside that cup, you have, what, a cup of wine? You have, what, dregs? But Esau, inside that cup is wrath. Inside that cup is what? His, his prosperity going down. 
and the dregs being the being the worst of so I'm 75 and 8. You don't want to skip it. Nick it up with uh Psalm 73 and 10. Yeah, it's a song. Proper, proper. No, Psalms 11. Psalm 11, 6. Psalm 75 and 8. Mm -hmm. It says, For in the hand of the most high of power, there is a cup, mm -hmm. and the wine is red. The wine is red. Huh? Right, get, get uh, Psalm 11 and uh, 6. Huh. It says, It is full of mixture. It's full, full of mixture, cup. right? That cup, we're going it says, read that again, real slow, grab a uh, Psalm 11 and 6. It says, Psalm 75 and 8, for in the hand of the most high power, there is a cup. In the hand, hand, when you look up, hand represents power, man. So it says, in the power of Yahweh, what? There is a cup. There is a cup. What's that cup? Uh, read that what you got, brother, in Psalms 11. All right, this Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, mm -hmm. and, and in horrible tipping. This shall be the portion of their cup. <laughs> See the portion of their cup. Huh. So that fire and that brimstone, right? It's this right here. This is what that fire and the brimstone is. 75. That's, that, that's the thermonuclear missiles, man. He said it's the portion of their cup. The wrath of the howl. The power of your house. God. Right? God. That's what's coming, man. That's the cup. You know? God. And they gonna have to drink with everything that's in that cup. God. They gonna have, like, when you get to the dregs, that's the worst of the wine, right? So they gonna have the worst of what? Basically slavery. They gonna have to have the worst of it, man. Because of because of uh, what, what they done, man. Yeah. You know, go ahead. 35 and 8. It says, and the wine is red. Mm -hmm. It is full of mixture. It's full of mixture, man. It's full, it's full of wrath. It's full of, it's full, it, like it said, brimstone. And what else it said, brimstone. Uh, uh, it's full of, uh, uh, it says, yeah. snares. Snares. Snares was in that cup. Fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone is in that cup. Horrible tempest. Horrible tempest is in that cup. The loss of prosperity is in that cup. Yo, your, uh, 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 your, your country falling like a one egg foot is in that cup. The loss of your land, the loss of your, your pride is in that cup. Fine. Jake, man, he walking behind they ain't holding hands. Hand. They went side by side. They come through here. He behind her. She walking ahead of him. See how that go, man? Yeah. Right. See, zero smiles on his face. Zero smiles. Like, zero smiles. <laughs> like uh, Bobby Rush said, I ain't him pink. I just been picked by the right hand. I just been picked by the right hand. <laughs> Good. All right. 75, uh, Psalm 75 and 8. God. It says, He poured out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So the, the wicked are basically going to lose all their prosperity and go into slavery, man. When you go, when you study and go deep into that, like we, we was going into it this morning, you start going into the words and going deeper. Going, going further and beyond what you normally go, you'll find out this talk about slavery. So Esau's got to get the worst of it, man. He's got to get the worst of it. I, when that wrath comes, everything he's going to lose in, in that cup at the last, the bottom of it, the worst of the bottom of it, the worst part of that plan, he got to drink it, man. He's done. He's not going to be possible.
he tells you what it is, what, he, what he's talking about, when, what the brother's talking about, father, they're going to lose everything. Because right now they're in their power seat. They got all of it. And when you read the whole chapter, they boasting behind that. Yeah. Okay, they boasting behind their riches and their strength. And that's why I say promotion comes not from the east or the west. The promotion is the exhausted, the mountain, they exhausted us. So did the most high to set him down and put up up another. Matter of fact, read verse 7. 75 and 7 songs. But the power, the power is the judge. Mm -hmm. He put it down one and set it up another. So he put us down, right? He put the nation of Israel down and, and brought up heathens over us. Uh -huh. Then he turned around and put them down and brought us up again. And then put us down again and brought these uh, the wicked Edomites back up over us, man. Right? And they up over us right now. Go ahead. He says, verse 9, But I will declare forever. I will. No, jump to verse 8. Come on, verse 8. Okay, verse 8. It says, For in the hand of the most high your power, there is a cup. And of the most high your power is a cup. In this power, there's a cup. Go ahead. And the wine is red. And the wine is red. It is full of mixture. Full of mixture. Go ahead. And he poured out of the same, but the dredges thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So what's mixed in that cup? Like we said, it was the wrath of Yahweh Basha and Yahushai. Esau's prosperity leaving, right? He gonna lose all his riches. He gonna lose all his land. He's uh, gonna uh. lose all his women. <laughs> his whole infrastructure is gonna go straight down the pipe. And at the end of it, the dregs, the worst part of that wine that nobody wants, he got to he got to have it, which is slavery, man. He gotta he gotta go through it. There's no way around it. Esau's going into uh. slavery. That's right. Cut. Your slavery gonna be way worse than ours was. Cut. Cause we gonna have the spiritual power. We gonna be able to dream up stuff you ain't even thought of. Yeah, uh -huh. y'all, your slavery is doing it and whatnot. So your slavery gonna be way worse. Man. You gotta get the worst. Of it. That's right. No. Psalm seventy-five and nine. But I will declare forever. I will sing praise to the power, your power of Jacob. They will sing praise to the power of your power of Jacob. Did it say the power of Esau? No, sir. Uh -huh. Did it say the power of Moab? No, uh -huh. sir. Did it say the power of Em? No, uh -huh. Did it say the power of Jacob? Yasha Allah. Yah meaning he, Shar, Prince, Allah of the power. Cut. Right? The chosen. That's right. That's Jacob, right. man. Like we read earlier and before, was it not Esau Jacob's brother? Yeah. But yeah. Jacob was the chosen one. Esau was the one that was hated, man. So this power stands for Jacob, man. It was Psalm 73 and 10. Psalms 73, verse 10. It says, Therefore his people returned hither, and waters of full cup are wrung out to them. Waters of full cup are wrung out to them. These people is talking about, he's talking about the wicked in their prosperity. Okay? These people, he's talking about the wicked in their prosperity. Because that chapter is dealing with prosperity. Right? Uh, that chapter is dealing with prosperity, and that's talking about the wicked in their prosperity. Done. Right? So his people, right? Go ahead. He says, for his people, therefore his people, Return hither, and waters of a uh, full cup are run out to them. Meaning, they got the fullness of their prosperity. Yeah. Okay, that we just talking about, and it's run out to them. Meaning, they drunk it down. They drunk the dreg. They drunk it down all the way to the dreg. So all the, all the riches, they have got everything, and they're greedy. So going back. To the to the to the uh, dregs over there in uh, 75, 75 and uh, eight. That's part of their prosperity too. So even though even though even though they're gonna go into slavery, 
but they gonna lose everything dealing with their prosperity and they gonna go into slavery. So that's why we say uh, them dregs are dealing with prosperity and they're dealing with slavery. Go ahead. It says, and they say, how does the power know? And is there knowledge in the most high? Yeah, yeah. most high know all things. Yeah, because <laughs> even though even though they live wickedly and they proud, right? They boastful as if they not gonna be moved out of that position. Come. Yeah. Okay. So going back over going back over to Psalm 75 and uh eight, there was the precept that takes you to 73 and 10, right? Uh, uh. Because when you look up the word ring, it means to, I mean wrong, it means what? One of them is uh, to drain out, to drain, to squeeze out. Uh, Go ahead. To suck out, to, to drain, to squeeze out, to drain out. So they got all the riches. Go down to the lexicon, where it say dealing with greedy. set up in their proud and their greed but they got they got the power of uh of those riches which is their strength and they set up but the mo is gonna hit them with nuke and bring them down right and they're gonna lose their prosperity right and they're gonna go into slavery Gun. right Gun. Gun. hardcore abundance hardcore abundance okay and they're gonna lose everything when this thermonuclear destruction hit man Yo, give me one more scripture we can get out. Give me uh, Psalm 37, 39. The Lord gonna make a way for the lick to escape all this. Yeah, 37, 39. Yeah. Esau, it's finished for him, man. These scriptures are plain to tell you that baby, it's over for him, man. It's over for him, man. And when we take over, like the brothers speak on earlier, our kingdom gonna go straight on with no interrupt. There ain't gonna be no war no more. Cut. So Esau is finished, man. Might as well live it up, man. Might as, like look at him walking around with a little wine, like, oh, this is so beautiful. Brown. Man, look here. <laughs> look at here. Woo! The Psalms. Man, we get on the air. Psalms chapter 37, verse 39. Mm -hmm. It says, but the salvation of the righteous is the, up. The salvation of the righteous. Salvation is what? Deliverance from my enemy. Come. Uh. Who are the righteous, the upright man, the complete man, who are the elect? All right, right. go ahead. But the salvation of the righteous mm -hmm. is of the Lord your power. Is of the Lord your power, go ahead. He is their strength. He is their strength. In the our basic protection, our right. refuge, man. Right? Right. Go ahead. He is their strength in the time of trouble. In the time of trouble. In the time of what? When martial law comes. Right. Right. Fine. When the concentration camp comes. 
when they bring the RFID chip, huh. right? Huh. And they have your baby head under the guillotine, huh. telling you they're gonna chop her head off if you don't take it. And then when they put your wife under there, when they put your old grandma under there, and then when they put you under there, them the times of distress, man. The Lord gonna help you escape from the times if you have faith, believe in Him. Whether it is getting your head chopped off or not. Come, right. Come. So, he, might, he might have when you don't even feel it. You, you be right back. Oh, you might get them good. Oh, you, you might get the power. Yeah. That axe come down and open right up on your neck and then fall apart on two pieces. <laughs> and then you get up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you jump up. Boom. I have sworn to kill blood <laughs> of the Edomites. And then them up are gonna be running crazy like this. <laughs> I have sworn to kill all until none is left. Oh, <laughs> they be running like little children and all. Oh, oh my, bro. bro. Uh, you know? Because so, I love how they have to like say it. <laughs> Psalms 37 and 40. <laughs> and the Most High, your power, shall help them and deliver them. They say he will help us. When you go in there, help is uh, support, meaning to support. He gonna help us, he gonna hide us from what? This destruction that's coming, these afflictions, these uh, 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 trying times, man. The Lord gonna help us out, man. The right. link, man. Right. Two thirds is over for you too. Go ahead. It says, he shall deliver them from the wicked. He shall deliver us from the wicked. We already explained who the wicked is. It's Esau, so-called white man, man. You know? El, 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 El Edomite. Yeah, yeah. El Adumian. El Diablo. Yeah, El Diablo. El I don't I don't, I don't want him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So the Lord, the Lord gonna help us escape, man. We gotta keep faith in him, man. You know? And he gonna help us escape in that day. God. And you see you eat a mice man, prepare for slavery. Yes, prepare to yes. drink that uh, cup, the dregs of that cup. That's right. Prepare to lose everything you got. That's right. It ain't gonna be no old state house building no more. It ain't gonna be no Stevens building no more. There ain't gonna be no damn Robinson Center no damn more. The Marriott, all this shit gonna be flat. <laughs> Goddamn eat a mice. You know? You ready to pay them gold streets? With that man, y'all brothers got anything? Yeah. And I say this right here. God. You brothers that's coming to this truth learning, you always gotta remember sometimes these scriptures uh are twofold, God. or threefold, God. or fourfold. God. Meaning they got more than one meaning. God. God. So sometimes it's like that, man. But uh Lord willing, you brothers coming in, uh y'all watching out the shot, keep building up the spirit, man. Faith. You know? But uh I ain't got hey man, with that man, brothers yeah. out there, stay strong, man. That's Keep right. the faith, man. Cause we ain't got long. We ain't got long, man. God, God. The Lord is showing you the signs every day. We ain't got long, man. God, just hold God. on. Hey man, with that man, all praises. Yeah. 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 Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, and Ruel. God. And God. peace and blessings to the elect all over the four corners of the globe. God. So death to America. Death to America. Death to America. Two thirds. Death to America.